Got some beautiful red snap fillets. We gonna spice it up and we gonna blacken them with some Pontchartrain gravy. Tony Satry's reached out to me and gave me the spice and herbs. It's good for blackening. I've never used it before, so I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see what it does. Right on. Now I'm gonna put that red snapper in a bag. And I'm gonna put it in the ice box and let it sit there for a little while and get that seasoning good in it. I'm gonna put some lard in my cast iron pan. I'm gonna get it hot, hot, hot. A little smoke coming on. Let's drop it down in there. After two or three minutes, we're gonna flip this son of a gun and it should be perfect. Oh, look at that, man. Right on. Hey, let's take this thing off and let's put it to the side. And we're gonna make our poncho train gravy. Get a stick of butter in there. We're gonna get all those niblets up. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic to it. You remember that mushrooms from the boil? We're gonna put them mushrooms in there. We're gonna keep stirring it up and stirring it up. I'm gonna add some more of that spice and herbs as we blacken the catfish with it. All right, now we're just gonna add us a little bit of some white wine. Right on. Now we're gonna add some whipping cream. And right at the end, we're gonna add a little lemon. At this point, you can cook it down till it gets to the thickness you like. And if you have to, you can add some flour to get it thicker, whatever you wanna do. I like mine kinda of runny. I like to sop it up. Here's my blackened red snapper. And there's my punch and train gravy. We're gonna put it on there like a this. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh my God. Now to top it off, why not just add us some of them big boy gold shrimps that I boiled also. Right on. Yeah, man. I don't know if you noticed, but this is my new home I'm cooking in. And what better way than to bring in some red snapper. Oh my God, with some poncho train. So good, man. Gotta get a bite. Mm. Right on. Yeah, man. Glad to be in a home again.